Hi guys, it's Lee Anderton here and I'm back in the Andertons video room and today I'm uh, very honoured because we've had uh, both guys from Cornford Amplifiers come down. I've got Martin Kidd here from Cornford and uh, sitting off camera there we've got Paul from Cornford as well. And today we're going to be talking about uh, some of the uh, features that make Cornford hand-wired amplifiers so amazing and we're also going to be looking at a sneak preview of one of the new amplifiers that's just going through some prototype phases at the moment. There's an awful lot of hype that you read about on the internet of uh, things like you know hand wired, point to point, class A. You know what does that mean? You know what does it mean when you're buying an amplifier that has those features? Uh, well, hand wired uh, is you, you can be very uh, precise with making sure every solder joint is just as you want it to. Uh, the this is a, a, the prototype amp that I just mentioned and you'll see in here that there are no printed circuit boards so if you open up almost any piece of electrical equipment nowadays you'll see the green printed circuit boards but as Martin just said uh, it's not necessarily the most reliable way to work or, or the way to get the best tone out of an amp. So you'll see in here every single component is wired together and this is all done by hand. Yeah? Yes. Excellent. And all done by hand in the UK. Yep. Excellent stuff. We also talked about uh, what it means when a, a valve amplifier is, is uh, a class A amplifier as, a co as opposed to class AB. So can you just try and explain as best you can to someone like me, what does that, what does that mean then when you've got class A output? Uh, it's just that the, the output valves uh, with class A, they uh, conduct the whole time, There's a, they pass the current um, and it's not a very efficient way of, mm -hmm. of running a valve out, but it's regarded as very pure. So it's, it's all about the tone, it's, it's all the pure about tone. The, yeah, and it's, it's a very a subtle thing, and um, you know, once you start overdriving the preamp, etc., mm -hmm. it perhaps almost goes unnoticed, but it's quite, uh, um, it, it, it's a tonal thing more than anything else. Okay. <laughs> We don't normally get a chance to get a sneak preview at uh, amps that are just in their sort of prototype phase, but we have, a, have an amplifier chassis here that we're looking inside of. Okay. And, and is this going to end up, do you think, in a combo format or a head format? Or probably, a probably, probably a combo. Probably a combo. 12 combo, we think, uh, cool. with a front mounted, you know, so we'll, we'll go away from our traditional top mounted control yeah. panel, we think. Well, I can't wait to hear it. So, any idea where you think it might sit price wise? Will it sit between, do you think, Carrera and Hurricane? Or maybe it'll be the, uh, that area, yes. So around so about the thousand to twelve hundred yeah, pound mark. Definitely there. Yeah. And that's great value for a, for an all handmade UK amplifier. So um, I am loving that, and I think I can only say thank you very very much for coming down and showing. This is a real sneak preview. We're the only guys in the in the world to see this outside of Cornford. So hope you liked it. Uh, maybe why don't you play us out with some with some more with some more nice tones. Some more rap. We, what we want to try and do with, uh, and I, I talked to, to Paul and Martin about this earlier on, if any of you guys feel like you want to comment on features you'd like to see on this amplifier, uh, whether you want, uh, you know, how you want the effects loop to work or anything you might want to see in terms of the speaker that's used in the combo, 
do please use the comment section on this uh, YouTube video because we'll feed all that information back to uh, Martin and Paul. And um, they have a name in mind for this at the moment, don't you, which is yep. the Phoenix. Phoenix. Going to be the Phoenix. But even that's not set in stone. So if any of you want to comment and come up with an even cooler name than that, you never know. You might find that uh, when this amp finally uh, hits the streets that uh, you have named it. So, so we're in June 2010 now, so you're probably talking, what, maybe September, October before September, we see October, this on the streets? Possibly, yes. Awesome. Possibly well, later, possibly soon. Um, you know, some of these... Very um, non-committal reply there. Yes. <laughs> Always a bit like that.